I don't think we get trouble. This is what happens. Chinese name, Tosin or not? Toz? Toz? Hey, Mr. Cow. Nope, I can't do it anymore. No, I can't. I'm sorry. Sorry, chat. I can't, I can't do it no more. I can't do it. I can't, my hair is in my face all the time. It makes, it makes just, just life fucking annoying. I'm just gonna get a pair of scissors and at least cut at least like that. Cause I, I can't do it. It makes everything just unenjoyable. 33 like, everything months, is just not, I, 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 I want to punch the air. I want to punch everything. I just tweak on it. What's up? I say, it's me, they see a buck play with us, you fuck. Put his body in the truck, then we take him to the dump. And they know we play for keeps, and they know that we ain't sweep. Grab a brew, we finna sweep. O block finna clean the streets. Boy, you better grab a heat or get put up on a T. Put your name by RIP or your name get turned to weed. In the racket, ain't no pad. Any state, we on your. No matter where, nigga, plan. Fuck the. Uh, we ain't goofy do that crash. We gon' spin and spin again. We gon' hit our last friends. We gon' show him we ain't playing. We gon' leave him where he stand. That's really, yeah, that's all I wanna be is successful. Right, big goof ass, man. Check it out. Right, I'm you not gonna give me no back. Hey, now, since you're you gotta throw a O-block. How do I do that? Yeah, throw a block. Everybody throw a O-block. We're here in the uh, Parkway Gardens housing development in Chicago, otherwise known as O-block. A uh, 24 building complex on Real. the city's south side. It's where Michelle Obama grew up, and it's also where drill music began around 10 years ago. This is Bostock. He's been here for a super long time, so he's gonna take us back to the very beginning where it all started. Holy right now, you're in 44. You're in one of the gutterest building in the block. This motherfucker be the last building to get cleaned up. Oh, it's a roach. See y'all in the project. Huh? See yeah, a roach. That's a baby roach. That's gonna get bigger. That's gonna get bigger. Smoking the ropes and killing the rats. This bitch be dirty as hell. This building be dirty. I'm from this building. Bro, I used to be one of them motherfuckers to piss in the hallway and on the elevator too. I ain't gonna lie. My mom in the bathroom on BDN. It's one bathroom in here. I'm gonna piss in the hallway. I still won't touch the buttons on the elevator. I'm straight knuckles. Cause you think there might be pee on it? Spit pee. And I used to do all type of shit to the elevator. I ain't taking no shit though in here. Yeah, True that. Why? True that. Come on, come on. Love you, my nigga. 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 Love you, to you, like, what is drill music? We started the word drill with our music. Like, let's, let's do a drill. We started that shit. Like, how would you explain drill music to someone who doesn't know? Um, music that make you want to kind of get outside and go just be outside. You know what I mean? Makes sense. I thought drill was uh, when you, 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 you slide it. Um... You get on going. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It turned you up. It give you adrenaline. Drill music is something that, I mean, in the grander scheme of things, you could see it when as you you know, a hyper-violent offshoot of trap generally that, you know, sort of like came out of a very specific area. I describe drill music as, it's violent, but That's mainly fiction. fiction. It's like realistic fic fiction music. So like, this why I shot my video, 4K Troll, shot it right here in this park. Right here where you standing that I shot it right here. The, uh, the lyrics are pretty intense in that song. Grab my clock, then I grab my mask and hop out, then I blast. But he ain't like, he pulled out his strap and started shooting back. It sound like it's compact to my got a double back, it's finna crack. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's all entertainment, you see what I'm saying? It's all for, for like, the people. Like, cause, like, music nowadays is all about, like, controversial shit. Drama, drama really makes money. Back to that breaking news live from Chopper to a mass yeah, yeah, yeah. shooting. At least six people shot. This all happening at 65th and King Drive in Parkway Gardens. So what was it like growing up in O Block? We had to grow up. We had to really grow up and grow up fast. All that little boy shit went out the window. Everybody around this bitch got PTSD. Everybody around this bitch seen somebody die. You know what I'm saying? So like, we had a brotherhood that can nobody come between. We, we not let nothing happen to none of us. Malo couldn't even beat up OD. We gon' fuck them all the ass up, boy. You better not put your hands on folks, boy. Fuck them and pull a pipe out. Hold on, boy. And it's the same way. Like, we got each other, boy. On Ogre, we ain't got no deities on BDN. What, what can you tell us about the year uh, 2011? 2011? I, I, uh, 
I experienced like my first um, first friend get killed. Uh, my my best friend Odie, video, he died in 2011. In 2011, a Parkway Gardens resident named O.D. Perry, which Oblox now named after, was murdered, gunned down just outside the gates of Parkway Gardens. What was one of your favorite memories of you and uh, O.D.? You know, man, I got a lot of them bitches on O. <laughs> he had this crazy ass doll named 50, bro. Oh, Jay Money, bro. Skip, skip that motherfucker. I'm not gonna skip. I, I, I like his documentaries or his like shorts. Of, uh, and you're, it's easier to get videos. Oh, like, oh, oh, what's up? What's up, bro? I'm keyed out my boy. I'm gonna skip this good. Dog, bro. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm gonna run up on me. Oh, oh, boy, boy, bird. Oh, it's your bitch ass song. Oh, right now to the day, I still don't play with people's dogs. I don't give a fuck if that bitch is a chihuahua. Bro, get your dog for that bitch die. I'm gang. O.D.'s murder was hang, allegedly hang, in hang, retaliation hang. for the murder of Shondale Tuka Gregory, a rival gang member who lived just a few blocks away on 63rd. Sorry, sorry. That was the sad days of my life, because I had just had my first child and everything. I'm really like traumatized. Like, I ain't know if was I supposed to crash out or fall back. And my mom used to be talking to me like, man, you got a daughter. Don't be like these niggas, don't die. How many uh, friends do you think you've lost since then? Over 10 dead on this game, like two motherfuckers a year. I swear to God. Owen Platoon and motherfucking 11. Gerard and Whitey and 12. We got LA and J Money and, and motherfucker died in 13. My, my crowd gone. Hey, I gotta hang on up on them. I gotta hang on up on them. I ain't gonna stunt. When, when, it seemed like when folks died, oh. folks' career took off. When Owen passed away, folks took that shit to another level. Chief Keith and Dirt and them came out. Why people hey, let this bitch up, you feel me? So it's like. Shortly after Odie's murder, a close friend of his decided to make his first song, which would serve as an O-Block anthem, Keith, to celebrate the life of Odie and this Shondale Tuka Gregory. This friend was named Keith Cozart, aka Chief nah, Keith. Nah, Chief Keith went hard though. I do drugs to long day. O-Block, we see bitch. Middle fingers to Shondale. I get out. On my phone, I get out. October 4th, 2011. This bitch get the going up. The block bust I just got out. I get out, I see Patron and White White. Fools got cocky as hell. I'm looking, I'm like, how the fuck y'all let OD get killed? Patron put his head down. He like, man, go take your daughter upstairs. I'm gonna holler at you. I take my daughter up. I remember Inky D them came up there. Deep as hell, everybody coming eight. Happy as hell. Fat Mac and Stu get to showing out. They get to fight. Hey, hey, Fat Mac. You remember I got out of jail, you want Stu start fighting that day? Him and Stu get to fight. <laughs> Hey, phone them like, man, y'all showing out because folks just got out. Uh, uh, yeah. Dirk and Reese come see me on Oh, Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't know, but yeah, I think it's important to say, okay? You know, you know what's really, really weird to me, okay? Is that a lot of these songs, I feel like a lot of people think, okay? I, I think, they think that it's like, um, you know, what happens in a song and a story that they, that they tell or whatever, right? But for me, it goes, it's like the energy they put in it. And yeah, because it comes from drama, it comes from, from like sometimes like struggle or big things that or really bad things, it makes the, that energy come out, right? I consume that energy, that's what I like a lot, right? And it sucks that it has to be something that's so negative and so like um, dark to get there, right? Because I don't think this in the lyrics, right? But I can tell there's something going on where they get that fucking, that, that energy, that juice going, right? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Because I don't think this in the lyrics, anyway. I, I'm like, I feel in love like a motherfucker. I'm damn, damn. Fold them, fold them come rap with me. I'm like, fuck oh guy, how the fuck oh that, you know? No, they rap so for me, boom, 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 boom. I, I, don't need, I don't need rap to talk about like, like murder and death and drugs and bitch assholes and big fat booty bitches. I don't, I don't need that. But since they go to a place of that sometimes and they, they put the song and that energy comes to that, I can do the energy, man. But it kind of sucks that it has to be, you know? Mm. You know? We talking all us and that bitch crying now. I'm like, damn. I just got out, we all crying right now. I'm like, the fuck, I'm fuck that. We ain't crying, we out here, we get outside. In the next two years, Chief Keef would go from a young O-Block rapper to one of the most commercially successful rappers in the world with hits like I Don't Like and Hate Being Sober. Yeah! And before you knew it, white America was doing the hokey pokey to murder music and unknowingly singing along to the anthems of an actual gang war playing out in real time. For a year, the conflicts of Oblock were a mystery to the general public. That was until one man came around and exposed the inner workings of Chicago's gang war to the world. So 2010, 2011, 
I'm in college and I'm doing commentary about hip hop. I had like, you know, some hot takes about like Kanye and Drake and stuff like that at the moment. So I was kind of gaining an audience. And I remember when the drill scene popped off and I remember doing a video on Keith and I was like, I love the music. I'm reading the comments and everyone was like, you're not telling the full this story. This guy. Okay, because like I I'm going in there and I'm doing a quick video and I'm like, yo, all his ops is dead. You know what I mean? He's dissing them. It's over. You know what I mean? Like these guys, we don't even need to know their names. And everyone was like, well, no, they're not dead. And actually the guys who, who he's dissing, just kill his guys. They were talking about people like Lil J. Screaming fuck OD. They were talking about like the FBG gang. Nigga fuck T Roy and OD them dead bitches. I'm like, yo, nobody knows these people, like respectively, because they don't have a hit song. Chief Keith is going crazy with hit songs. So I made this page called The War Shot Racket, and I started covering basically oh, like, just constant feuds that were happening. It's your boy DJ Academics now in from. Talk in five seconds. Really? No? Information has come to my attention. Now y'all know I call Lil Reese the Chirac Grim Reaper. Well, pretty much because every time you look through his mentions, you see a bunch of dead niggas. CBS Chicago is reporting that a 15 year old boy, aka Lil Nick from Six Hunter, was shot multiple times and then he was brought to a hospital where he was pronounced dead by the Cook County Medical Examiner. At least he died doing what he loved best. Someone Bro, actually told me that these guys act. Bro, who is talking? Is that Lil Bro? No. Actually keep score no. on killing and coonery within Chirac. The most valuable coon is probably a legit award. The one Chirac never stops, the coonery never fucking ends. No. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. His Warren Chirac series went viral, and the fans were now aware of the ongoing Chicago- Yeah guys, I'm, I'm from what Chicago. What are those uh, streams bro. back? Bro, I was in college and shit like that, bro. And, and this guy did just shot the other guy, and then okay. and I, I, particularly wait, as it pertains the to the up, rappers man? involved. What How many people do you think have died in the war in Chirac? Thousands. This past weekend, at least 52 people were shot, eight of them killed. Oh, was, in the following was, years, was young, between okay. 2011 and 2020, 5,518 people were murdered in Chicago. Jesus. To the amusement of self-proclaimed Chiracologists who created a Reddit page, which now has over 175,000 members. But I'd never seen a place where life was valued less than Chicago. To this day, I've never been to Chicago. Chat link I feel like things bad everywhere. Things just bad in Chicago because like, this shit came like a movie to people. Like when it first got famous, people started like, it was like we was characters. Like damn, no, like, not that. like an assassin. Drilling itself is an energy oh my God. that once people latch onto that shit and you become invested in the story. It's like a soundtrack to a movie and, and it sounds bad to say, but it's a soundtrack to a movie that you're watching live. You know, I'm looking at this now oh, like on some voyeuristic like, you know, just made the biggest oh shit, this is like entertainment. I like horrifying. What I try to do is satire, hoping people could look at them like, that looks ridiculous. These dudes, like, they're disgusting, right? People took it and they ran with it. Everything I thought that people would be like, yo, this is some sick shit they loved. We have a bloodthirsty audience, especially music. The more people die when someone yeah, gets- Yeah, this is how I feel about, about AK's voice on there. Yep, that's the one. If I wouldn't have slowed down, y'all was not gonna catch me. And let me be in that new scat pack, I'd have took off on y'all dumbass. You two fuckers just made the biggest mistake of your lousy career. If I- It's locked up their streams and through the roof. Music sales, going through the roofs. Trust me. I was a driving force in getting some of these guys, other than Keith, eyes and attention and ears to some of the, their stuff. Did you feel responsible for like inflaming gang tension on the streets by covering things? Hell no. But l let me tell you this, accountability is hard to take, man. They say, yo, well, you gave people nicknames. And when you gave someone a nickname of Grim Reaper, some other guy is going to start killing more to try to get that nickname. And I'm like, I don't believe I caused any murder, whoa, whoa, but if you, whoa, whoa. if my videos, because they were popular, instigated any two parties, I'll take blame for that. But motherfucker, if you picked up the gun, I'm not taking blame for what you did, right? When I started covering War in Chirac, niggas was dying every day already. I was on Twitter watching people bleed out. And I was like, I can't believe this is, like people getting shot like dogs, bleeding down, everybody filming it. And then you go on social media and everybody say, I'm smoking on the pack. So you gotta take blame for, for you doing that. The parents gotta take blame for not being in the kid's life. The cops gotta take blame for them basically just like throwing their hands up in the air and saying, let everybody kill each other. Like these motherfuckers, like everybody wants an easy scapegoat. Listen, 
Stop acting like a bitch ass nigga and just fight, bro. Leave the pipes alone, fight, 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 fight. I'm old. It's so fucked up now, it's like a 12 year old just said, ah, I'll pop you. So not a 12 year old. You like, bro, just fight him. Why do you think that happens? Because the yeah, motherfucker think it's about being a shooter or a killer. Music played a part. But music won 100% why everybody doing this. It's your fucking mama and your fucking daddy. You get what I'm saying? It's your mama and your daddy, bro. It's not, it usually be your environment, but it's your mom and your fucking dick about how you getting raised, blood. Like, raise your fucking kids right. Oh, oh. I don't think it's drill music at all, I promise you. If, if we was facts. to take drill music holy, away right now. Holy shit, how does this guy is spinning so many facts? But, dude, though, I, I literally preach this almost every day on on street. I almost preach this every day, man. That is and mega daddy, facts. Bro. It's not, it usually be your environment, but it's your mom and your fucking dick about how you getting raised, blood. Like, raise your fucking kids right. Oh, oh. I don't think it's well, drill music. I always said that. Dude. You, could, you could at least catch like five times I said on stream. Did, did it. Parenting. Raise your fucking children correctly, man. Oh, I promise Stop you. blaming. If, if we were Stop to blaming this, that, and social media and whatever. I'm not even talking about like, like, like murder and shit. I'm just the more, just more, more general stuff. Bro. People need to stop fucking blaming and scapegoating and being. Oh, it's social media. Oh no, it's the internet. Oh, it's, it's the it's the age of the it's the gender. Man, it's the f raise your fucking children properly, bitch ass. It's do the music away right seriously now. Seriously though, man. And it be regular hip hop. It's still gonna be the same type of violence. Everybody wants man. to be. Everybody wanna be a character now for the internet. On social media, beefing, making threats. Wait a second. Okay, slots guy. That's that goes hand in hand with what I do. I don't raise you, bitch. I stream games, motherfucker. I play games. Want to get raised? Go see your fucking parents. Not my job to raise you and give you moral standpoints, bitch, motherfucker. I play games. It's making crazy comments, like going on live. You know, it's like you know, waving the gun in the fucking camera. Um, you know, it's like it, it's 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 almost like a competition to see who can push it the furthest and get the most attention. Because you know, th there is a fair amount of clout chasing. And, you know, that is a toxic element. In that way, do you think that drill is, like, bad for society? No, because the thing is, like, the, the realities of what is being discussed in that music was, was there before the music was there. The music is just an expression of that. It's just a reaction to that. Like, when you're talking about inner-city gun violence, you're talking about poverty. You're talking about poor education systems. You're talking about like low access to food. You're talking about low economic opportunities. Those are the kinds of solutions that you would need to apply to that situation. If you could go back in time, would you make war in Chirac again? You know, you know, I've grown. Was it appropriate? Probably wouldn't do that again. I wouldn't do it again just because um, I think we're dealing with mental illness in Chicago. And when you see people are kids, these people who are doing murders, like Ronald number nine was like 17, doing drills and all that type of shit. It's easy to be outraged and also say, damn, how could you guys take a life so easily? But also you gotta think about the cycle of mental issues that they're having, the trauma that they're suppressing. After the success of the- I understand some kids don't have, don't have like full parents and sometimes they're like single mothers, whatever. I get it, they're outlining data. Okay, that's, that, 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 that's what other system should, should, should kick in. And a lot of times the fucking government fails people, okay, in a lot of areas. The government and, and, and the civil, they, they fail their communities and they fail people. And I understand that there's outlying, there's outlying people and there are people that, are, that have it way harder, with harder hands, to, harder hands to play. Okay, but that's not everybody. Okay, not The Warren everybody. Chirac series, Academics Formula, was replicated hundreds of times, creating a concentrated YouTube algorithm that turned gang drama into an online mega industry. One of the channels in this algorithm is called No Jumper, which is quite different from the Warren Chirac, but nonetheless features many interviews with gang-related rappers. Do you even know about gang shit when you first moved to Florida? When did you actually become a 5-5 Crip? You are widely known Wait, to be him. associated with the Hoovers. Some of the dudes who got caught up for this murder are like actual rappers who have videos out with, with many, many thousands of views. Again, like you say, a lot of the stories are hypothetical, but in this, this one, you actually mentioned it's that a, a specific guy. rapper from Chicago called a girl six times while you were hanging out with her. Right, it just ran. You see what I'm saying? The shit okay. just because, man, you know. So, I went on the podcast and spoke to the host, Adam22, about the ethics of producing monetized gang content. Do you think drill music is uh, bad for society? Yeah, definitely. How come? Because people 
are in gangs killing each other and making songs about it and making it sound super cool. And even me as like a 30 year old fucking white man, I listen to it and I think that it sounds kind of cool and I, I struggle with that. But definitely I think it's probably, as much as I like listen to it, it's probably gotta be a net negative for society, right? Do you just, just the romanticization of violence in general. Do you think you help make it look cool? Wait, what? I don't even think I agree with that. No, I don't, I don't even think I agree with that songs about it and making it sound super cool and even me as like a 30 year old fucking white man i listen to it and i think that it sounds kind of cool and I, I struggle with that but definitely i think it's probably as much as i like listen to it it's probably got to be a net negative for i don't know man people struggle people have their problems man and they finally try to find a way out of that mental state and for them if, if releasing music and and doing something out of their out of their heart and putting that rage out into a fucking song and that's what ends up being monetized, giving them, giving them money. So fucking be it, dude. So fucking be it. Like, I don't, I don't, wait, why, why, why will not agree with that? What? I don't get it. I, I, was, I was at a question mark. For society, right? Do you just, just the romanticization of violence in general. Do you think you help make it look cool? Mm, I don't know. What, I feel what, like what, when what they're the on a beat about? with a fucking 808 going crazy, what? And they're able to like rhyme and make less sense that that probably is like when it sounds coolest because mm -hmm. they don't really talk about that in interviews, right? I mean, most of like the, all the Chicago like gang members or whatever, it's like the I amount of like I street video, shit you're going to be able to get them to talk about in an interview is pretty minimal in comparison to the stuff that they're essentially saying in their songs. It just must be crazy because like you talk to so many people who like have died recently. <laughs> like you're you're like the last person to interview um FBG Cash. Right there. His name's on the wall. Yeah. Mm. Do you feel any responsibility for like inflaming like gang beef by having so many gang members use this platform to promote themselves? No, because I mean, I feel like this is a hip hop platform. It's crazy that you guys are gonna agree with you guys are gonna agree with that and whatnot, right? And and then and then uh, a bunch of songs about like hardcore drugs and mega drug usage and 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 fucking using a bunch of fucking narcotics and going going mad on fucking drugs. And a bunch of fucking rap rappers dying from it while talking about it, and you, yeah, Paul Champ, Paul Gers, but not like I don't know, like I, it's, it seems to me that there's a, there's hypocrisy here, man. That long ago has kind here. of been clear to me what? that that's more no, that's or less the, the it's, gist it's, it's of a, what they're doing, you know. Like there was a long time where I didn't do any street shit, you know. In the beginning, it was mostly like SoundCloud type stuff and more like avant garde you know internet shit we've gone more in that direction and like a lot of like it's also the direction rap's gone in it's it's tough to get away from the fact that the fans just want what they want you know as a content creator you kind of have to follow the incentives to a certain extent it's just been taken to the point where as long as you can succeed doing other things it's fine and you know what people do succeed doing other things as long as it's not so it's so so prevalent that only that you, you can only have that to make it I, I don't have a, I don't, I, just, I don't know, man. You know, as a content creator, you kind of have to follow the incentives to a certain extent. It's just been taken to the point where the fans like want How's this shit bad, to be how's a bad real. Thing? They don't want to hear you say, I'll, I'll shoot you if, you if you come near me. They want to hear you say, so-and-so from the other side got killed because he fucked with me. Like the fans are really drawn to that kind of immersion i guess whenever you grew up here did you guys spend a lot of time in other parts of chicago like did you ever go like downtown or to other areas or were you mostly here Man, I, I spent a lot of years inside this gate have you been to a, like, a cubs game or anything no you guys want to go to the white Sox game with us yeah yeah, yeah we go white Sox, 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 white White Sox! 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 They represent the South Side Pride, that blue collar man. Like, the South Side is way better than the North Side. Never wear condoms unless you have to. What's the situation in which you'd have to use a condom? Every time. Never. Never. <laughs> I'm married, what? so I haven't actually used condoms in 15 years. <laughs> Raw dog stats for Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow only. Sorry. What? What do you think about condoms? 
What I think about condoms? I got six kids right there. Raw dog all day long. Jack Harlow is not my type. What makes White Sox fans different from other fans? Sometimes they wear white socks, but not on a regular basis. Loyalty. Why? Why? Are you guys from Chicago? No. No? no? Exactly. What do you think your most controversial opinion is? Like, what do you mean about that? For example, I believe that aliens have visited the United States of America. Nice. So do I. I also believe that the Earth is not, it's not round. I also believe that the government is hiding a lot of ship mods. I also believe that the government has taken over our, you know, our country. And like, you think the Earth is flat for real? Huh? You think the Earth is I flat? I mean, we have Boy, that's the whole ideas, point. right? We have ideas. So, like, who, who are we to judge? White Sox hamburgers. Comiskey dog right here. We got two patties, two scoops of cheddar cheese, and we put the pico and the gaia on top. Say it ain't so, Joe. Hamburger, 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 hamburger. What's your biggest fear in the world? All right. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. How do you feel about the rapper Yeet? He's all right. Can you name, can, can you name five songs? Turban, Mad About That, Sorry About That, Money Is So Big, and uh, what's it called? Poppin'. Poppin'. What's your favorite thing about Yeet? Poppin'. the music. What would you say if Yeet was here right now? I don't know. What would you say if you could be digitally connected with Yeet in some form? Come on, Yeet, enter the goddamn phone. God damn it. We love Yeet! We got, we made it. We actually made it here, guys. And Fucking drink to that. We are like the epitome of sperm. We are sperm at its best. You're a philosopher. I, 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 th I consider myself a philosopher, yes. You guys want to hear my whole philosophy? Yes. yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh man, what did you get? Dude, you gonna go in, bro? You what is this guy doing? This? Fuck, what man! This, this is my philosophy. Move! You just saw it happen. I didn't know that guy. I didn't. I I could not associate with him of any particle of my own being. But I let him go through because he's a he's a fellow human being, you know. So his agenda, you got to consider that. And he wanted to go through. It it I, wasn't. I don't know. Um, what, I don't. Like, uh, you know, like negatively imper imperative to me, so I let him through. That's what I think we should all do, you know? Try to fucking make it better for everybody, if you can. Different team might be the same team in the long run, we don't know. Might be different teams right now, could end up being on the same team, but, you know, right now. He's not on my team because I don't know who the hell he is. But we're both at the Sox game, so I guess we're not on the same team in that sense. I need y'all for that documentary, for sure. For sure. I'm going to I'm really push out a tone. Yeah. Right, that was something. I did a video, that was really good. Interesting.